Hi guys, so today we are going to be learning the complex integration part 2 when the contour is a parabola or a straight line. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the question here is that evaluate the integral x minus y plus i x squared dz from 0 to 1 plus i and here we are given three lines along which we have to evaluate this integral. So let's examine which, are, which of these lines are. First one is along the line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. For that I am going to plot z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 plus i. So for that we will make our coordinate axis, complex coordinate axis that is x and i y. I am just going to represent it as x and y. This is my origin and I am going from my origin to 1 plus i. So 1 plus i would be 1 comma 1 and here I have 1 comma 1. So just a minute. Um, so the first line along the line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So this would be my line 1. Line 2 along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then along the line parallel to the imaginary axis from z is equal to 1 plus to z is equal to 1 plus i. So real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then I am going to go from z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So I am going to show this with another color z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So this is my path 2 and my third path would be along the parabola y is equal to y square is equal to x. So that parabola would be something like this. Oops, sorry, I needed to show that with another color. So for clarity, I'm going to draw it again. And let's assume that this is a parabola and this is my third path. Okay, so let's get started solving with the first path. So I have to evaluate the integral that is this, this is my integral x minus y plus i x squared dz between 0 to 1 plus i. So we are given that the line is along between z, zero, z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So 0, 0 to 1 comma 1, this is obviously y is equal to the x line because both the coordinates are 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. So uh, from this we know two things. First of all, I'm going to substitute y as x in this equation and then I can write as z is equal to x plus i y. Remember guys, this, this is general and this is going to be used in every case. So dz would be dx plus i dy. Now since um, we're putting y is equal to x, so hence we can put here as uh, y is equal to x and we'll get dz is equal to dx plus i times dx that is 1 plus i times dx. So I'm going to put here as y is equal to x so this would be 0 to 1 plus i again this would be x minus x since y is equal to x plus i x square now instead of dz I have to put this equation which I just derived. So that would be 1 plus i times dx. So solving that would give us i x square times 1 plus i dx between 0 to 1 plus i. Now remember guys this now since we are dealing with only y is equal to x right so and my coordinates were 0 comma 1 to 1 comma 1 and I've substituted as y is equal to x so I've got an equation in terms of x so my limits should also be in terms of x so I'm going from 0 x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 so this can be replaced as 1 so now um, upon solving this when you expand this you get uh, i into i would be minus 1 so you'll get i minus 1 x square dx okay 
and that would be from 0 to 1 and that would be equal to i minus 1 x cubed by 3 between 0 to 1 which will eventually give me 1 by 3 into i minus 1. So, this is how we solve the first part. Now, let us get to the second part. When uh, the line is along the real axis from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 and then it goes along the imaginary line. So, it goes like this and it goes like this and it goes like this. So, let us get to that part. So, what do we know about this part? First of all, uh, let us just write the equation once again for simplicity. Okay, x minus y plus i x square dz between 0 to 1 plus i. So, let us just we will integrate only the first part that is when x is equal to 0 and then next is x is equal to 1. So, in this case my y would be equal to 0. So, again first of all we know that z is equal to x plus i y and so, when we put y is equal to 0, I get z is equal to x and dz is equal to these dx. That is how simple is this. And in the equation to solve the second one, here we are going to substitute y is equal to 0. So, I get this as x my plus i x square instead of dz I put dx and as I said, we got the equation in terms of x. So, we are going to put the limit as 0 to 1 itself because we are going along this path where x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. We are not considering the y coordinate. So, upon integrating this you will get something like this x square by 2 plus i x cubed by 3 between 0 to 1. So, my answer would be half plus i by 3. Now, next next part next part would be when we go up. Okay. So, when we go up, what, what is constant? So, I am going like this. Uh, here my x is equal to 1 and my y is equal to 0, but here my x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So, my x is equal to 1, that remains constant. And so, when I find out my dz, where z is equal to x plus i y and dz, x is going to be constant, x is going to be 1 always. So, my derivative of x would be 0 plus i dy. So, my dz is equal to dz is equal to i dy. Okay. And what do we know about x? x is equal to 1. So, just substitute in this equation. So, I get 1 minus y plus i times i dy. And now, we have got the equation in terms of y. So, my limits would be between since my y here is 0 and my y here is 1, my limits would be 0 to 1. Okay. So, now that we have got that, um, you can easily integrate this integrate this stuff guys and upon solving, you are going to get something like this minus 1 plus i by 2. It is just simple math guys. So, that is the part I am skipping it. Okay. So, you uh, upon adding these two results okay you, when you add these two results you get something like minus half plus 5 by 6 i okay but do verify it guys do verify it and if you don't get it please comment below and i'll make sure you guys understand it now let's get to the third part so what does the third part state along the parabola y square is equal to x so, along the parabola, we have the parabola right here. So, we have to now determine the integral along the parabola. So, since uh, the answers are different for each different part and hence that is the reason it is called complex integration. So, now I know that y square is equal to x. Okay, And um, so, first of all, let us again write my question. So, my question would be x minus y plus i x square dz between 0 to 1 plus i. Okay. So, what do we know? We know that we can write x is equal to y square and also while finding z. So, I know that z is equal to x plus i y and I am going to write the x is equal to y square. So, I get z is equal to y square plus i y and when I take a derivative, I get 2y dy plus 
I dy right okay so um, when you get something like this you I have got my dz is equals to dy times 2y plus i okay so now the only thing we have to do is substitute so I'm going to substitute x is equal to y square so y square minus y plus i times y to the power 4 times 2y plus i times dy. So, upon opening the bracket, you're going to get 2y cube minus 2y square plus i times 2y to the power 5 plus i y square minus i y minus y to the power 4. Okay? So, this is just opening the brackets and when you solve this, you get half y to the power 4. I'm just finding the integral i by 3 y to the power 6 i by 3 i y square minus 2. Okay? And when you put 0 to 1, you get the final answer as minus 11 by 30 plus i by 6. So that's how you do it, guys, and this is the end of the complex, uh, complex numbers, complex integration lecture. And thank you, guys, so much for watching. If you don't get, if you don't understand it, please do leave a comment below, and do subscribe, do like, and do comment. Thank you, guys, for watching.